This video will show the three main basic Adobe Connect meeting layout and how to customize your own meeting layout. There are three types of layout in Adobe Connect, sharing, discussion, and collaboration. As indicated by their names, they are mainly used for different purposes. Under each layout, there are several small windows called the pods. The pods can be customized based on your own purpose. And you can also create new pods and organize them in your own way. Before we go into any detail, there is a suggestion. Because in Adobe Connect Meeting, sometimes the view of a host and the view of a participant are totally different. So it is a good idea to log in using a different browser as a participant. For example, you can use Firefox to log in as a host and using Google Chrome to log in as a participant. In this case, when you make changes as a host, you can see immediately what the participant will be seeing in your Google Chrome uh, browser. So it is uh, really good to make sure that everything is set up correctly before you send out a link to the participants and start the actual Adobe Connect meeting. This is the interface of the sharing layout. The sharing layout has four pods the attendee list, a chat, a note, and a share. All participants could use this chat pod to communicate with each other. You could also use this notepad to write something for the students. For example, write a welcome message for all participants. You could also resize the pods by dragging To choose other layout, go to the very right side of the meeting room, and there are three layouts that you can choose from, sharing, discussion, and collaboration. And just want to mention it, the three layouts over there, the participants, regular participants, they won't be able to see that. Only the host can see and change it. For example, if I choose discussion. If you would like some student or a group of students to write down some discussion notes for the whole class, you need to at least make them presenters or make them hosts because regular participants cannot type in the notes pod. To change the role of a participant, simply put your mouth on the participant's name and choose make presenter or make host from the bottom. Now this participant have been changed to a presenter. You can also start a poll in Adobe Connect meeting to test the students' knowledge or collect their opinions. There are two types of polls in Adobe Connect, multiple choice and multiple answers. Type the question in the question text box and type each answer in a separate line in the answers text box. Up until now, the participants cannot see the poll unless you go to the upper right corner and click open to open the poll to all the participants. You can view the answer distribution once the question has been answered by the participants. If you don't want the poll to show to the participants, click close. If you want to edit the poll again, click prepare. Now let's take a look at the collaboration layout. There is a big whiteboard under collaboration. Of course, you can change the size of the whiteboard if you don't like it. And the whiteboard is already shared with all the participants, presenters, and hosts of the meeting. If you don't want to share this whiteboard, you have to click Stop Sharing to stop it. You can click the pen tool and start drawing on the canvas. If you want participants to draw, you have to make them at least presenters because participants cannot draw on the whiteboard. They can just watch you drawing. There is also a type tool that you can use to type on the canvas. You can select the texts and change the fonts and font size and colors of the texts. If you accidentally click Stop Sharing and want to bring Whiteboard back, there is a way to do it. Click the triangle beside Share My Screen. 
Ender recently shared. There are several recently shared screens listed here. You can bring any of them back. If you want to share a new whiteboard, click the Share Whiteboard. It will open a brand new whiteboard that you can draw on.